bottom of the ninth inning at Medler Field at Lebrano Park. Thanks for joining us today as Penn State tries to mount a comeback. Keith Levitt, the pinch hitter for Nick Graham here in the bottom of the ninth. It was Penn State who was out in front. Five to four until the top of the eighth happened. A wild bunt from Justin Hovis. As one runner scored, it was Taylor Grace. And he somehow scored thanks to number of miscues by Penn State as Levitt grounds it up the middle. But Andrew Gonzalez is there for the comebacker. And one quick out in the bottom of the ninth. That's a good glove by Gonzalez out there on the mound to snag that one. A few quick steps, an easy flip, and Michigan State has a crucial first out. Last thing they needed was for Penn State to get an early base runner and have something to work with. Now it's back to Nick Riotto, the hottest bat in the lineup here today for Penn State. He's three for four today with two RBIs, two runs. It's Levitt, hard ground ball, just a better play though by the pitcher Gonzalez. 0-1 pitch from Gonzalez. Inside off the foot of Riotto, and he's down. He'll take his base and he'll limp, and now he'll jog down the line 90 feet. Well, Tyler, that's big. For as much pain as it might be causing Nick Riotto right now, that is huge for this Penn State team. Their biggest and most powerful bats, Jim Haley, Greg Gears, Tyler Kendall, are the three that are due up, and they now have a runner to play with. So Riotto's on first base with one out in the bottom of the ninth inning. Gonzalez trying to close things out. There is action in the Michigan State bullpen as Jim Haley will look at a strike on the outside corner and lick his lips. Not sure if he thought that one was in there. Yeah, I don't know if he agreed with that one. Well, he's two for four on the day. Two singles, a fly out, popped out. He's hitting 344 and he has a chance here to up this Penn State rally. Pickoff attempt from Gonzalez. Riotto slides in safely. Penn State trying to get their 11th win at home. State trying to move to 6-0 in conference play. Here's the 0-1. This is low and away for a ball. One out, bottom of the ninth inning. State down a run. Trying to avoid a weekend series sweep by Michigan State. Ball in the dirt, scooped up though by Matt Byers. Good play, but boy, that could have been dangerous. Yeah, Byers has been really defensively sound throughout both games today. He's been doing a great job of dropping to his knees and blocking pitches, and like you saw on that last one, just picking it with the glove. Good heads up defense. 2 1 count to Jim Haley. the 2-1. Haley drives this one into right field as it drops in front of Simonton and Riotto is called safe. Simonton had Riotto nailed. The umpire says that Corey Young, who's in for Royce Ando, pulled his foot off the bag. Back-to-back -back runners for the Nittany Lions as here comes Mr. Boss. Come out and talk things over with third base umpire Mark Schmidt. Let's take another look. What do we see? And it's a nice shot by Haley out into the outfield. Awkward distance for right fielder Simonton as he's coming in on it. The throw, another tough one. If you, if you think about it, that's another crucial play, Tyler. One of the bigger plays in the first game of today was a chance that Penn State could have put a base runner on. They were, in fact, called out on a questionable foot off the bag, and now they're called safe on another questionable foot off the bag. Well, we'll see. <laughs> the here we tides go. have turned, man. We'll see. <laughs> Buckle we'll up. Should be a good one here. Good finish here at the Med in the third and final game of this weekend series between the Spartans and the Nittany Lions. There's a righty warming up in the pen for Michigan State, a lefty as well as Gray Gears. He could end this with one swing of the bat. First pitch to Gears is fouled, wow. Right into the 
Michigan State dugout right off the roof. Bounces back into play, foul ball. That was a good strike. strong cut by Gears, man. You can better believe that he wants to get all of this. Two for three on the day, the sack bunt, he had the double and then a single, flew out in his last at bat. He's been getting good wood on everything. Well, here comes pitching coach. Well, I don't think we're gonna get a pitching change at all, Tyler. He just wants to talk things over. This is a key moment. And I would imagine if Gonzalez surrenders a runner or allows Gears to get on base in one way or another, that we'll see him actually activate the bullpen. Skyler Mead, the pitching coach, he rushes back into the dugout after a quick conversation. It's Haley on first, it's Riotto on second. Riotto was hit by a pitch. Haley single to right. And here we are, two runners on. Penn State down six to five with one out in the bottom of the ninth inning. Here's Gonzalez's 0-1, fouled to the left of us, out of play. 0-2 now to Gray Gears as he'll have to rear back and wait for his pitch, but not let one slide. Gears has two home runs this season. Slugging 370. The DH, here's the 0-2 from Gonzalez and Gears stays alive. Count remains 0-2. Well, I think Greg Gears is going to go down swinging or he's going to unleash it on the ball. There's no way in this big of a scenario that he's going to hold his bat steady. Here we go. One out. Greg Gears digs in. Gonzalez takes the sign from Byers. Rocks, fires, and Gears. Another foul ball back in front of the Penn State dugout this time. Gears hitting 310 with runners in scoring position. Here's the 0-2 from Gonzalez. Ball in the dirt, good eye from Gears as this at back continues. Nittany Lions were up five to four until the top of the eighth. When Michigan State took a 6-5 lead on a crazy bunt. That scored two. Haley on first, Riotto on second. Here's the one-two pitch from Gonzalez. Swung on and driven foul to our left out of play. Gears doing a great job of fighting off pitches. He's gonna see, you know, in scenarios like these where pit batters fell off a ton of pitches, it really, it always seems that it's either a strikeout or a solid hit that is what ends up being the case. Let's see what happens. One, two, count, one out. Here's Gonzalez's pitch. Off speed misses outside. Count moves to two and two. Andrew Gonzalez, the righty sophomore. 2015 All Big Ten Freshman Team nominee. Here comes the two, two from Gonzalez. Wines, fires his gears, pops this one up shallow. In the infield, infield fly rule in effect as there are now two outs. Oh, Gears is kicking himself as he walks back to the dugout. Tyler, he really got jammed on the inside part of the plate and just did not get enough of the barrel on the ball to get some real distance behind it. And that was an easy can of corn out for the Spartans. They're one away from the sweep. It's up to Tyler Kendall to keep this Inning alive in this game alive for the Nittany Lions. Gonzalez trying to close things out for the Spartans as Kendall drives this one the other way through the hole. Oh Simonton yeah. picks the ball up in right field, trying to score, and he does score as Nick Riotto. A two out RBI single. Penn State ties this game at six. Mr. Kendall, how do you do? And advancing to third on the play is Jim Haley. Boy, oh boy, did Tyler Kendall not waste any time. Took that outside fastball the other way, drove in the key and tying run, kept this inning alive, and now Jim Haley, the winning run for the Nittany Lions, stands at third base, and the freshman 
who we have talked about all weekend, Jordan Bowersox, has the opportunity to win it for the Lions. Nick Briano scores his third run of the game as it's up to Bowersox. Can he win it for the Nittany Lions in dramatic fashion? Haley at third, Kendall at first. Two outs, bottom nine. Here's the first pitch from Gonzalez. Curve ball in there for a strike. Ball game tied at six. Back and forth has been the storyline. Strong pitching, timely hits, and big time mistakes. Who will win? Here's the 0-1 from Gonzalez. Chopper towards second. Must be a quick play for Dirk, and he, he throws it. He throws it away, and Penn State wins it. On an air, Jim Haley scores on the Jordan Bower Sox ground ball to second. My goodness, what a way that this game ends. I don't believe it. Michigan State hands the game to Penn State after Penn State had given Michigan State the lead. Nittany Lions win it 7-6. to six. My goodness. Unbelievable, Tyler. Dan Durkin just botched the play, threw it off his back foot and sailed it wide. Game, set, match. The Nittany Lions win it. Avoid being swept. Jordan Bauer socks his speed, pays off, moving down the line. Unbelievable fashion for the Nittany Lions to walk off and win it. A walk-off air. Thanks to the bat of the freshman, Jordan Bauer socks Penn State wins seven to six. My, oh my. As we will have Anna Witte in just a moment, but boy. What a way that game ended. As the teams shake hands, five errors for Penn State, two errors for Michigan State. Holy moly, back and forth. And it's Penn State who curbs the possible sweep by Michigan State on the road. They get back to their winning ways. As here's another look at that final play. Chopper oh. to Durkin, one of their best fielders, and he just throws the ball away. Zimmerman had to come off the bag, couldn't hold. Nittany Lions moved to 11-3 at home. Michigan State falls to 3-3 three three on the road. P Penn State goes to 5-4 in Big Ten play. Michigan State handed their first conference loss. They're now 5-1 in the Big Ten and 21-6 overall. Penn State 18-14. They matched their season win total from the last two seasons.